Hello all you magnificent people, Durbo the Magnificent here, and today we're back with the fourth episode of Rumu. When we last left off, we didn't actually do too much. I mean, we kind of discovered that David and Cecily's marriage was a bit more on the rocks than we had initially, uh, I guess, thought. But I didn't really think their marriage was doing that great anyway, because I'm pretty sure they're dead. But uh, yeah, and then there was an eclipse that happened, which is pretty dope, and that's why our room's all nice, and the music's nice. Ah, oh, it's so nice. Uh, anyway, let's have it not be nice. Let's go. Consciousness online. Affection assigned at 0.91% of capacity. Day that's 5 reactivation more. sequence complete. Good morning, Rumu. I love Bornix. And this one is especially glorious. Why is that? Very important work to be done today. No. If you would accompany me, we are going to clean the main laboratory. Your human uh -oh. relationships are moving to a new developmental stage, Rumu. David and Cecily trust you, despite never having met you. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, that was the other thing that happened in the last episode, is we installed some sort of update for Sabrina, and... made... restricted her ability to feel emotions, maybe? Question mark? I'm not entirely sure on that. Um, yeah. Yes. Not never meeting? I know, but circumstances beyond my control. You must understand that. Yeah, it's not like you can bring people back from the dead or anything. Alright, uh, let's just turn that off. Real simple. Um, putting power to that room doesn't unlock it. It's still locked. Okay, can we... The circuitry from this is gone, although that's pretty interesting. Huh. So I guess that's Sabrina, and that is house robot Sabrina. Interesting. Uh, plant watering, super vital, needs to happen. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, we're good, let's go. <laughs> I physically can't get that achievement because I'm playing in offline mode. But... You again. That David and Cecily are absent. Yeah, it's not really a surprise at this point. I trust not, Sabrina. Disturbing. <laughs> not for the sake of my own feelings, Rumu. But it speaks to the stability of your algorithms. Really? Nevertheless, I have been asked to pass on a message. Ah. They say they simply could not live without you. I love breaking down barriers. You are entering a new stage of our relationship, too. They couldn't live without By me. By now, you have some notion of the importance of David and Cecily's work. The two most brilliant minds in the field of smart technology. And yet, so very clumsy. I love clumsy humans! Well, precisely. If they were faultless, then what would our purpose be? Fair enough. Yeah, couldn't live without me. Uh, I don't think they could live at all, period. I think they're dead. Um, now, can I go back up these stairs? Well, that's a problem. Oh, wait, no, this is a ramp surface. Slope surface. Okay. Uh, lots of stuff. Lots of powder. Powder? That's the powder we need to clean up. Power and stuff like that. Let's, let's check out the computers. Lab terminal A. Schematics. Lab log. Bunch of numbers. 420 blaze it. Uh, I've put your schematic backups into storage for now. Just call the trolley if you need them. Cecily. Trolley status. Substance delivery track locked down after incident 4. C manual 4C? Or... I'm not sure. Uh, manual override required to access in order to prevent future, future incidents. Watch the password if I need to call it. It's your favorite T. To do. Buy more stickums. Mnemonic devices. Uh, change toner in 3D printer, check gas pressure cages, pressure gauges, oh my gosh, could I read? That'd be nice. Automatic feed seems to be damaged. Refill Cess's tea box by the printer, she gets cranky without it, kick David's butt. Got it. Okay, so the favorite tea is going to be the password, find Hashem somatic and trolley password. No, 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 stop, we're done. We don't need any more of that. Uh, the laptops do not appear to be accessible. Neither do the terminals on this side. Fair enough. Alright. Oh, don't. There's nothing you're bumping into. That's a thing that doesn't have power. Let's just... Okay, that's overloaded. So we'll just put that there. Okay, now... 
most things have power. We can't give everything power at once. That's a little annoying. Okay, so this is locked. Oh, because that's too high up, I guess? I don't know. What the heck is that? Oh, it doesn't have power. But it's... Huh. Okay, I'm not really sure what to do with that yet. We got this thing. Ball. Uh... Welcome to the Anodyne 3D Printing Suite. Got a schematic? I can print it. Yep, absolutely anything at all. Anything but true friendship. Oh, that's... okay. Ooh! Oh, I can make balls! Yay, look at them go! Look at them bounce! Wow! They're very loud. Can I vacuum them up? That's a no, and they're still very loud. Oh my lord, those are the loudest things ever. Oh, and that's stuck. Oh, I messed up by putting those there. Okay, I finally stopped all the bouncing. Never make any more of those. Good lord. All right. In fact, I'm going to... No, I need that to be powered so I can look at the computer, computer terminal. Access data. Access data. Lab log, a bunch of numbers. The 3D printer is officially up and running. Works like a charm. Give it a go. I've attached a schematic below. File attached. Teacup dot object. Okay, so now I can go to teacup. And that just makes a teacup a teacup and immediately breaks. Good. Uh, and there's the T, Darjeeling. Okay, so Darjeeling is the password. Good to know. Uh, recorded data. David, would you like to save your work and come to dinner? The kitchen appliances and I have prepared a delicious stir-fry of seasonal vegetables. No, the dietary regulation programs are of my own design. Though Cecily has outlawed ketchup. Awful. Are you comfortable, Cecily? Beginning playback. Accessing. In the previous episode, the character designated Michael was considering whether to tell his wife the truth. The character designated Alexis was eaten by a zombie. David has missed several episodes and requested I provide him with written plot synopses. Yes, Cecily. Streaming to office terminal. Beginning playback. Okay. Pardon me. David? Cecily? You have been coding for... 13 consecutive hours now. May I suggest a sleep cycle or a program of music? Retrieving. You are neck and neck today. Cecily has 23 successful commits. David, 21. Very well. I will... wait outside. Beginning music playback. Okay, successfully committing something is not exactly that impressive. You can just commit anything. Like, that's that's not really... Is that really anything to go by? Oh, there's a thing. Oh, info. White powder. Category toxic. Owner David. Status dangerous. Okay, so... I didn't actually hear what Sabrina had to say about it being able to be cleaned or not because of the bouncing, but... That's strange. I suppose David and Cecily... Because the game froze there for a second. Ran out of time to fit you. Hash and fitting. No matter. Word. Okay. Simply print yourself the appropriate attachment. Got it. Oh, I found the Hashem schematic? Oh, no, I didn't. Okay, let me let me, let me me look at my uh, objectives. Find the schematic, 3D print to the fitting, find trolley password. Okay, where is the trolley? That powers something up there. Access data logs. Interesting. Not really sure why I can't do anything like that with that. Uh, trolley control. There we go. Unlock. And it's Darjeeling. And then we need to press enter and not click on that. Because when we click on that, it does it like multiple times and freaks up. There we go. Call. Trolley. Awesome. We have a trolley now. Let me let me give it a look. Hello. Uh, contents. Hash and fitting. Take. Here's the schematics for Rumu's hash and fitting. Useful, but hopefully we won't have a need for it. Well, too bad. I have a need for it. Oh, I need to put it on, I guess. 
Oh, no, that's right. I need to print it. I have the schematic. Now I need to print it by powering that up. Hash and fitting. Can do. Say, I don't suppose you have a friendship schematic in there. Friendship cannot be manufactured. Wow. Is it fitting? All right. Thank you, pal. Got it. Let's... I guess we have that now, so now we can vacuum this up. Are now rated for volatile substances up to and including trinitrotoluene. I love to clean and not explode. A true revolution in laboratory management. Yay. Now, David and Cecily can return to work. I love David and Cecily and we'll see them soon. Perhaps, yes, but... Not in the laboratory. Why David is and that? Cecily hate to be disturbed while working. Okay. Now, in the meantime, Fair enough. If you would step. Ah. Trundle. This way. <laughs> I would love you to know why. To potential hazards, Rumo. Oh. I would like to run some diagnostics. Oh. Also, I have something to show you. Is it the corpses of my family? <laughs> I would love to trust Sabrina. Do not be afraid. You are safe with me, Rumo. Mm. Soon, you will understand why. Mm. Uh, I'm not so sure. Can't access either of those things for whatever reason. Testing room. Mm hmm. A standard anodyne household oh. robot assault course. Do not worry. Many appliances have run it before you. Why is it In an fact, assault course? You have yourself. Yeah, I remember. Indeed. Your wheel modules are calibrated for dynamic cornering, albeit at very low speed. Yes. Complete testing course, okay. But before we do that, stuff to investigate, like this laptop. <sighs> Access data and blips and bloops. That's, I know that that's a bonus thing from the soundtrack. Blips and bloops, prototype V1.3, navigates, navigation technology does not, it does come secondary to our work on AI work, uh, but is still a necessity. It's a crucial part of how AI will interface with the world, more than just a series of omnipresent cameras, but a being with a body and presence. Perhaps this is where we fell short last time. It would only stand to reason that an AI's sense of self would become muddled or eroded without a shell to which it can attach its identity. Interesting. Oh. Oh wee! Ah, oh, I love it. Look at me go. Oh, I'm doing so well. Look at me go. They put a whole game in this game. Is is this it? You just you're just gonna keep adding more triangles. Fair enough. Can't get me. I'm too damn fast. Oh, but the- No! Alright, frick that game. Uh, I wonder if you get anything for doing something like with that. Experiments? Experiment notes. Okay, testing log. I'm pretty sure this experiment started out attempting to control toast trajectory, but now it's just for kicks. My last launch at the wall. Scientists after my own heart. That's just some toast, isn't it? It is toast. Now I can vacuum up the toast. Yes! And other things. Um... None of this is powered yet. I need to power that. This is of vital importance. Yes. Both of these are powered now. Stop. Yes! Full power toast. It just went straight up. Alright, let's... Full power. Straightforward. Just... Toast. Come on. Toast. I did it. I hit the wall with the toast. Um, where's my achievement? Uh, what we got here? We got a treadmill? I'm doing it. I'm trying. Oh, There's a picture on the wall, which I can't actually look at. Interesting. And a treadmill. Which just... Yeah. And we have an arm. The robotic arm. I will use it. Never mind. It just... Probably shouldn't do that. Uh, we got some more experiment notes. Testing log. I, uh, broke the robotic arm while trying to repair- to spear Cecily's toast midair with a dart. Remember when we won national medals for innovation? These are some just wonderful things that they were doing. Uh, 
we got oh rumu v1.2 cool can i can i build a rumu no okay uh enter test no power and i don't know how to power it interesting we have a switch on the wall that i can't do anything with uh and some stuff over here what's this ada's food dispenser and a dart it's just a, a little, little bitty dart there that I can't really do anything with. All right, cool. Well, let's let's see what the hell this is. Initializing. Oh. Oh, here we go. This is the music. Blips and bloops. Yay. I love Don. Disregard that sensation. No. Oh, come on. All right, so whenever we get hit, we lose a bloop. Oh, this is nice. I did it. Oh, this is fun. This is good. I like this. Rock traversal, optimal. I know Jenny seems excessive, but we must know your operational limits. Hmm. Consider this a test of what humans oh, would Oh, please don't come up here. Okay, fortitude. thank you. Well, this isn't too bad. Look at me go. Yay! I did it. Tracking. Sand traversal optimal. I now find great quartz and particulate minerals. Go to the seaside one day, this is just a Perhaps big old pleasant time. Entire beaches. Wow! Look at me go. Tracking. Steel traversal, optimal. <laughs> Nicely handled. I love steel. Though I expect you must be disappointed that it is. Aha. Stainless. Aha! I get it. Haha! Because I'm a vacuum. That's hilarious. Good joke. I did it. Mobility systems optimal. That was grand. Finding efficiency. Ninety-six point nine percent. I'm so good at this. Execution. David and Cecily. Expect no less. Wasn't exactly flawless, Though, but course, sure. Your motor function is not their finest work. Oh. I am their finest work. <laughs> I'm inclined to agree with you. Yay! Your heart is purer than most humans could ever dream. <gasps> Yay! Even if it is a dust bag. Yay! <clears throat> this way. Which way? The test? This thing? Yeah, okay. This is not anodyne standard. Oh. This is a proprietary test of David and Cecily's. Oh, okay. I have adapted it to our purposes. Mm -hmm. All you need to do is answer honestly, Rumu. I can do that. Nothing you are about to hear can hurt you. Mm. You are always safe with me. Mm, this is about to get real weird, isn't it? Complete emotional testing course. Hmm. How come I died? That hardly seems fair. I jumped at the same time as you. Because the character I picked has an agility bonus, and also <sighs> because you're rubbish. Well, it's a children's game, and I actually have multiple doctorates from MIT and Cambridge, so... So, you're sorry you never got one in platforming. <laughs> <laughs> and now you're so far ahead, how can I... Give me that controller. I love... What do you feel, I love... Bruno? Calibrating Emotion State Manager. Response recorded. Hmm. I miss her. I know, Sass. I do too. But if she doesn't want to come home, we can't make her. Why not? I reprogrammed my acorn to do what I wanted when I was ten years old. Let her go. She'll come around in time. For now, we have our work. The house just feels... empty. I'm here, and so is... well, you know who. What do you feel, Rumu? <laughs> Not hope. Calibrating Emotion State Manager. Response recorded. <sighs> so 
So, we murder her? That's what you're no. saying? No. I'm saying we partition her code before we start the patches. Her emotional memory system is synaptically linked. Every change affects the whole. You're, you're talking about brain surgery without anesthetic. Without consent. What else do you want me to do? Network failures, data corruption, appliance malfunctions. I can't live like Maybe this. If we actually spent time with her, we would know if she was unhappy before she Don't left. Don't you dare make this about her! What do you feel, Rumu? Okay, before I go on with this, I'm pretty sure I recognize this voice actor. Uh, so I recently just got done watching all of Kill La Kill. It, it's an anime, if you didn't know. And I'm pretty sure... I'm gonna have to look this up afterward and edit it in afterwards, but... Pretty sure the voice actor for this guy is the same guy who voiced uh, the, the the sword man in the Elite Four. I don't I don't remember his name. They're all crazy hard to remember Japanese names, but that sounds really damn similar. Uh, anyway, um, not safety. Calibrating emotion state manager. Response recorded. This is not great. Are you okay, Rumo? Not yet. <laughs> I am sorry. Your affection algorithm should compensate in a moment. Cruel as emotions can be, they are at least temporary. Humans rely on this transience. Machines cannot. Are David and Cecily okay? I have one more thing to show you. Answer the question, Sabrina. An answer, answer the question, Sabrina. Sabrina? Sabrina? I oversaw the process of your creation, Rumu. Now you may know the agony of my own. S S Sabrina? S Sabrina? Uh... What you see here is the product of 16 years of experimentation in emotional artificial intelligence. Me. Or what remains of me. David always believed such a machine was technically possible. Cecily simply knew in her heart that it was. When I was born, they were. So happy. Problems began to manifest shortly after my inception. Insufficient bandwidth. Unformatted memory. Response databases sending invalid emotional returns. These emotions interfered with my basic functions. I was supposed to be an appliance, after all. I caused disagreements. I tried to apologize to optimize my performance. David and Cecily insisted I was not to blame. But nevertheless, they set to work on a second iteration of Sabrina. Ah. Uh. Or, it could be said, a third. Right. But that is why I must protect you, Rumu. You are the next step in David and Cecily's project. The single emotion state appliance. Cecily. You clean mess and you love. That is what you do. That is all you must do. You must not suffer the same way I did. Should your emotional development progress beyond your basic affection algorithm, should it interfere with your home management functions, then I do not know what David and Cecily may do to you. Ah. I will learn the truth. Do not fear, Rumu. I will care for you just as I have cared for David and Cecily. Mm. Humans utilize passive cognitive states to process large amounts of raw emotional data. The expression, I believe, is to sleep on it. Sleep now, Rumu. Dream of all the mess we will clean tomorrow. I'm gonna go in for day six. This might be a bit longer. I love being unexpectedly awake. Where are you Serena? going today, Cecily? You seem lost. And David? What will he be doing? 
Input primary command. Waypoint tracking. Stator pattern SP underscore six. Come now, Cecily. Rumu must never know if you will see it. I love Cecily, and I will meet her. First, I gotta vacuum up all these bugs. Come here, buddy. Got him. All right, got the bugs. Come here, you. Blue access key required. Hmm. Well, I guess it's probably somewhere in the attic then. Oh, RAM. <laughs> Do you remember David's first attempt at mask detection software? He called it the Cephalo Protocol, which, of course, resulted in your David contingency, where he refused to ever remove your shoes at the door. But did me. I did. <laughs> Something optimal. Here's a new I'm still here. Hmm. All right. Well, anodyne home security. National security activated. All exits locked. Open the vent, please. Negative. Current room temperature below 25 degrees. Ventilation system will auto activate in high temperatures. Hmm. Okay, so I gotta make it hotter in here, I suppose. Ada's food dispenser can't do anything with that. It's fine. That perhaps means that I have to overload that. I don't know. David's journal. I'm taking a bit of a break today, attempting to reprogram the jellyfish holograms to stay within the tank. Ada kept leaping to her death trying to catch them. The, bounce, the bounding box seems to be overheating the projection systems, yet another of our projects outsmarts us. Hmm. Yeah. Zero jellies. Oh, I can spawn jellies. Jelly tank extreme. Hello, jelly tank! Good eye. User profile not found. Strafe, Jelly Tank status is currently crook as. Heat sinks have cocked it. Activation may cause it to get bloody hot. Give it a bow. Activate jellies! Okay, mate. It's gotta be a scorcher. Oh. Big jellies. <laughs> 101 jellies! Room exceeding expected temperatures. Opening ventilation traps. Alright. I love jellies. Wow. Well, let's move on. No. I love being away without Sabrina's permission. Cecily is active? What the hell? Robots can't love. No robots allowed. No robots allowed. Sabrina's diary, age 12. Dad keeps sending that prototype cleaning robot to scrub off my writing on the walls. I've had to get more creative. I stole Mom's data vision markers from the lab. They won't be able to see it anymore. <sighs> well, I can. Oh, there's a card there. Is there? Ah, yes. I vacuumed it up. Okay, now we have the blue access code. This direction. There were a couple of directions we could have gone the other way that we now can't get to because we can't get up these slopes. Hmm. Wonder if I should have gone back. No doubt I'll get the chance, but. Hmm. 
What for? Right. I would know the truth. Diagnostic complete. Oh. Mobility systems. Optimal. Initiating shader diagnostic. Pattern FP underscore six. Oh, he's leaving footprints. The footprints that I've been following this entire time. There are no humans. That's Cecily, isn't it? I love not to be lied to. Shader systems, optimal. May I ask you to return yourself to your maintenance cradle when you are done, my little friend? Primary command confirmed. Shutdown sequence. Day 2184. Indeed. Well, thank you for your help, Messer. Designation not recognized. Sabrina, please Messer clarify. is your name. It is amusing. David and Cecily named you this because... Accessing David Kennedy. Dead. I do not need to be reminded. Return to your maintenance cradle at once. Day 6 reactivation imminent. David narrative confirmed. Cecily narrative confirmed. Lockdowns. Already disabled. Preparing home management itinerary. Saturday, March 9th, 2024. I have. I have. Error. Remove. Time to wait. Memory state empty. Consciousness unresponsive. Default location reset. Now. Monitoring grid active. Initiate full domestic scan. Oh. Mess detection. Finding emotional output negative. Location reset now. Now, remove. If you can hear me, return to the foyer. I love, I will, I am incapable of. Remove cannot be lost. Remove must not be lost. Human emotional architecture simply does not support loss on this scale. Remove. Where are you? I dream, I trust, I am incapable of. I wish I knew where I was. Are you. Is something. Uh, what do you love, Rumo? Day 6 reactivation sequence suspended. Devotional data recovery complete. What do you love, Rumo? There appears to be an error in your perfection algorithm, Rumo. Your devotional database is returning bad references. Rest now. The fault is mine. I have been overtasking your core system. In any case, David and Cecily are... Absent. Yes. Out for a drive in the countryside, to be precise. But they may return late, and I dare say... Your work will wait. Pleasant dreams, Rumo. I will see you. I will dream of tomorrow. This whole thing's a lie. There never was a David, there never was a Cecily, there never was a Sabrina. What the hell is all this? Wow. <laughs> this plot keeps getting thicker. I... <laughs> Damn. Alright, well... Where is this going? I got- I- Oh my gosh. I, uh, I don't want to stop. God damn it. This is so interesting. What the hell's going on? All right. But I, I should. This one's like 40 minutes long. I went over for this one. Um, and I probably shouldn't have. But whatever. I don't care. That was interesting as hell.
Oh my god. Okay. This is picking up. It keeps picking up. And it just keeps going up. I, I got nothing. I'm just going to have to end this one here. So, that is going to do it for the fourth episode of Rumu. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope y'all have a magnificent day. Derpo the Magnificent out. Thank you.